Good evening, class. Good evening. Good evening, evening. Are you evening. ready? Hello, hello. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Did it rain in your place? Here in San Salvador, we had a, a, a rain. We're about to start, okay? Can you see my screen? Julius, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you. Meanwhile, your partners get into the class. Julius, read. Read these sentences okay. and the answers, please. Okay. Are you free? Is, uh, pardon. Are you free? Yes, I am. Uh -huh. No, not, I'm not. Uh -huh. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Uh -huh. No, he is not. No, she, no, he isn't. Very it's good. Not. Uh, is that a class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it is not. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Okay. Are you um bed in the in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. Okay. Are you class in in interesting? Interesting. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Uh -huh. No, they they are not. No, they're no, not. No, they're not. Uh -huh. No, they are not. No, they aren't. Very good. Thank no, you. They aren't. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Diana, read the sentences, please. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is no, Xavier from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Uh -huh. Is bed class in the morning? Yes, he is. Yes, it is. No, he, yes, it is. Uh -huh. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, he isn't. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. Are you classes? Are you classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they they're not. No, they aren't. Very good. Thank you. Okay, I guess everybody's here now. So welcome to your class. And um, sorry. And let's go to another activity. Okay, we have this set of questions, instructions. And answer these questions about yourself. If you answer no, give the correct information. Then ask your partners the questions. Example. If you ask me, are you from the United States? I'm going to say no. No, I'm not. Yep. I'm from El Salvador. Got it? 
understand? Is your teacher from Canada? What is your answer? No, he's not. Mm -hmm. He's from El Salvador. Yes. Okay, continue with the rest. Very good. No, he's not. He's from El Salvador. No, it's not. My class is in the night. Okay, we're going to say, no, it's not. My class is at night. La cuadra sería no we're not we're we have the different age oh uh, okay the last one can be like this no we're not um I'm 30 and my best friend is uh, 25. You don't need to say years old. Ya no, that is very basic. Nosotros ya no somos básicos. Okay? Teacher, ¿cómo dijo que podía responderse la última pregunta? No, eh, we're not. No, we're not. Uh -huh. I am I am 24 and my best friend is 22. Ah, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Finish, Fatima. Okay. 
Jessica Elizabeth finish? La última me falta. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Ana Cristina. Yeah. Are you finished? Todavía me falta. Okay, thank you. One more minute. Finish, okay. Julius, are you from the United States? No, I not. I from El Salvador. Thank you. Diana, is your teacher from Canada? No, no he is not. He is from El Salvador. Okay, thank you. Blanca Esmeralda. Is your English class in the morning? No, it's not. My class is in the night. At night. At night. At night. Thank you. El Elba, are you and your best friend the same age? Yes, we are. Oh, a coincidence. All right. Yolanda Yamilet, are you and your best friend the same age? No contest star. Um, Ana Cristina, are you and your best friend the same age? Esa sí no la hice. Oh. No, no la entendí. Lo siento. Ah, okay. Ask, ask. Yes, Jessica, are you and your best friend the same age? Hola, teacher. Yo igual con esa tu inconvenientes. Okay. Juan Alberto. Uh, yo tengo, no, we're not. We uh -huh. are different age. We uh -huh. are different ages. Yeah, it can be a good a good answer too. But, but also we can say, no, we're not. I am 24 and he's 25. Oh. Okay, thank you, but it's a good answer. No, we're not. We're not. We're different ages. Okay, now I want you to write three 
questions about your classmates. I'm going to give you examples. I can ask your partner, are you from Mexicanos? Is your sister an actor? Another example. Okay, first example, are you from Mexicanos? No, I'm not, I'm from Ilopango, can be, right? Or no, I'm not, I'm from Lourdes. Is your sister an actor? No, she's not. She's a, she's a mechanic. Are you and your best friend soccer players? No, we're not, we are basketball players. Understand the activity? Class, understand the activity? Yes. What are you going to do? Haremos una oración similar a las que están ahí. Yeah, three. Three, three, three. three questions. Same. Okay, you have three minutes. Okay, le voy a dar un minuto por oración para crearla, okay? Three minutes, you have three minutes now.
Okay, stop. Now, let's go to the groups and ask your partners these questions, okay? Okay. Let's go. You have three minutes.
Okay, next activity. We have a reading. I'm going to send you the, the listening, okay? Then we're going to practice by reading it. What's in a name? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular and why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors. TV or book characters, or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. So surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Boys' names, George, Average, Boring, Jacob, Creative, Friendly, Michael, Good-Looking, Athletic, Stanley, Nerdy, Serious, Girls' names, Betty, Old-Fashioned, Average, Emily, Independent, Adventurous, Jane, Plain, Ordinary, Nicole, Beautiful, Intelligent. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member, of course. Opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Betty's out there. Okay, questions about the reading. New words for you. Check the first paragraph. We're talking about meaning and pronunciation. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, what is the pronunciation identif in identify? Identity. Identity. Okay. Identity. Okay, Adriana, you had a question? Uh, the pronunciation, the athlete. 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 Saca la lengua. Athlete. 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 Here is plural. Athletes. Athletes. Okay, more questions? How do you say survey? Survey. Sur survey. Survey. Survey sur is encuesta. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. No more? No questions? How do you say might, meet? Uh, might, debe. Might, okay. Now uh, might become. Okay, might. Might. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay, no more. How do, teacher. How do you pronounce your cha character? Character. Character. Characters. Character. Thank you. Characters. Character. 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 Oh, here is in plural. Characters. 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 Yeah, characters. Elba, you had a question? No questions? Melissa? No? Blanca, Jessica, Yolanda, Miguel, Liliana, Ana, Lisa, Ana, Cristina, no questions? Okay. In that case, I'm going to give you three minutes to listen. Listen to the audio, please, okay? Listen to the audio on the WhatsApp group. Finish? Are you done? Okay, I guess you're finished. Now it's time for you to read. Diego, you have the first paragraph. Adriana, the second paragraph. Julio Cesar has boys' names, girls' names. And Juan Alberto, the last paragraph. Start, please. Diego, you start. What's in a name? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It's an important part of your identity. Continue. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. 
why are these names popular and why are some names unpopular? Okay, thank you. Adriana, continue. Okay, names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book, characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they, they feel about names. Here, here are some common opinions about, about names, names from names from a recent survey. Survey. Thank you. Now continue. Julius, I guess. Julio, it's your turn. Boys name, girls name. Boys names. George Average Boring. Mm -hmm. Jacob Crafty Friendly. Michael Good Looking Athlete. Stanley Nerdy Severus, Girls Name, Very Old Fashion, Average, Emily Independent, um, Adventurous, uh, Adventurous, uh, Gem Plain Ordinary, Nicole Beautiful Intelligent. All right, thank you. And Juan Alberto, the last paragraph. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The big, biggest reason is the tra ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Tradition? Tra tradition. Tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now means becomes popular in the fu futures. That's good news for all the George and Barry's out there. All right, thank you, thank you. Now let's continue. Uh, let me see, Elba, the first paragraph. Blanca, the second paragraph. Sarah, boys' names, girls' names. And Miguel, the last paragraph. Start. Okay. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It's important part of your identity. Identity. Right now. Identity. Identity. And right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Hako for boys and Emily for girls. Why we are their names popular? And, and why are some Names unpopular. Unpopular. Thank you. Continue. Unpopular. unpopular. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book church, character or athletic. Popular names such as very positive things. Unpopular names such as negative things. Superintendent people generally. Are we on the way they the way. feel about? Here are some common opinion about names from a recent survey. All right, thank you. Continue. Sarah, is that yours? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Names. Evelyn Boring. Jacob Creative. Friendly. Michael. Good looking. Athletic. Stanley Nerdy Serious Girl's Name, very old fashioned, 
Avery, Emily, independent, adventurous, Jane, plain, ordinary, Nicole, Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. All right, thank you. And we finish with Miguel. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Betty's out there. All right, thank you. Thank you. Unpopular, okay? We go with the last participation. Melissa, you have the first paragraph. Then I have Sidna, the second paragraph. Jennifer, boys' name, girls' names. And Roberto Carlos, the last paragraph. Start. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you're probably think of your name free. It is an important part of your identity. Continue. Right. Right now, the two most popular. Wait, 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 wait. The first paragraph is is anti unpopular. Okay, continue. Right yeah. now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boy. And the Emily for green. For girls, we yeah. are the names popular and the we are in some names unpopular. Unpopular. Okay, thank you. Continue now. Second paragraph. Okay, names can become popular because of famous actors, TV of book, char characters, characters, or Athletes. 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 Popular names such as very positive things. Um, popular names such as negative things. Super sling. Super. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. People generally. <laughs> okay. People generally. <laughs> Don't people worry, don't worry. People generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. survey. All right, survey. thank you, thank you. Boys' name, girls' names? Boys' names, George, average, boring. Jacob, creative, friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. Gears, name. Betty, old fashioned. Average, Emily, in the independent. Advent, adventurous. Advent, adventurous. James, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. All right. Thank you. And the last paragraph. Okay. So why do parents give their children's unpopular names? The biggest reason is a tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. Over time, a name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Betty's out there. All right. Thank you, my friends. Very good.
Now let's go to another activity. I need you to work. Okay, read the article, then check the statements that are true. Okay. Number one, your name is part of your identity. Number two, people often feel the same way about a particular name. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. People are often named after family members. Opinions about names can change. Okay, work on this, please. I give you three um, two minutes. Okay, your name is part of your identity? True, True or false? True. True, True. okay. True. People often feel the same way about a particular name? True. 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 Mm, boys' names are more popular than girls' names? False. 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 People are often named after family members. True. True. Okay. Opinions about names can change. True. 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 Okay. According to the article, which name suggests positive things and which suggests negative things? Complete the chart. Positive names and negative names.
Okay, positive names. Jacob, Michael, Nicole, and Emily. And Emily. Okay, negative names. George and Betty. George. George, Betty. Be Betty. Stanley. Stanley. Jane. And Jane. Okay, we're going to finish here, my friends. And we're going to call the attendance. Okay. Adriana Eugenia Grajeda Mancilla. Present. Thank you. Ana Cristina Osorio Cornejo. Present. Thank you. Ana Leticia Garcia Martinez. No. Ana Elizabeth Campos Romero. Ana Mirtala Guzmán Hernández. Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Cintia Marisol Mejía Rodríguez. Teacher. Hello. My name, ya lo menciona, es que se me trago el inte. Uh, what's your name? Ana Elizabeth Campos Romero. Okay, Ana. Thank you, Ana Elizabeth. Thank you, teacher. All right. Eh, Cintia Marisol Mejía Rodríguez. Okay. Cristian Ernesto Romero Aquino. Diana Stephanie Salmerón Hernández. Thank you. Thank you. Diego Francis Francisco Aguilera Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Elba Milagro Granados Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima Saraí Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Elizabeth Romero González. Present teacher. Thank you. Josué Abel Luna Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Alberto Fuentes Barahona. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos López Linares. Present teacher. Julio César, thank you. Julio César Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Liliana Abigail Cedillo Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Melissa Daniela Ángel Guardado. Present. Thank you. Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Natalia Irene Milian Mancilla. Okay. Roberto Carlos Pineda Ramos. Present. Thank you. Sara Elizabeth López Salas. I'm here. Thank you. Sidna Eunice Ruiz Morales. Thank you. Jennifer Damisela Flores Meléndez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Yolanda Yamilet Andrade de Rodas. Present, teacher. Okay. Recommendations with the readings. Read. We uh, get reading from the internet, listen to the reading, repeat the reading, record the reading, record it, then listen to your recording and compare, okay? Escuchar el audio original, repetir, grabar, Escucharse a sí mismos. Comparar. Son cinco pasos. ¿Ok? Gotcha. Para, ver, para ver dónde estoy yo bien y dónde estoy yo 
donde necesito mejorar, ¿ok? Good. Ok. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Don't forget to eat pupusas and cola champán. Good night. All right. Good night. 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 Good